do you know when it's time to settle down? Jennifer Aniston was recently interviewed, and she said she thinks it's time for a relationship and that she feels ready to share herself with someone else. I should mention that is not Brad Pitt before you jump there. So how do you know when you're ready to be with someone? Who wants to go first? Okay, well, I'll go. Julie, well, I'll go. go ahead. Okay. Well, like the great Dolly Parton, my private life has been quite private. But I had been in a long-term relationship nine years. Anyway, I'm single now, ready to mingle. The reason why I know is because I'm happy by myself. I'm actually in a space where I'm not feeling uh, mm. some kind of way when I see people in relationships. Um, you know, I, I come home and, I, and I, I enjoy my own company, but I realize I'm like, I would love to share my life with somebody. I don't want to settle down. That's the difference. Settle down. Ooh, low vibration. <laughs> I want to share my life, my energy, and all the things with somebody who is mature. And it doesn't take long when you're in your 40s. It can happen right now. I meet you, boom, boom, you bought it, we bought it, let's go. <laughs> now, pandemic, we might have to wear the mask and everything's from the back and all that whole other thing. But the whole point is that when you know who you are and you're really comfortable in just the skin you're in, mind, body, and soul, then you're ready to share somebody. Not okay, can I also, just ask a question, oh, no, Julie? One more thing, one more thing. One more thing. I possess all the qualities <laughs> that I'm looking for in somebody. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't be like, he needs to be that. He needs to be that. Like, I'm like, you know what? Am I all those things? Someone tick, tick, watching tick. is going to yes. slip into your, your Instagram DMs, DMs yes. right now. Yep. Okay, Julie, <laughs> Ju so you, you want to share all this and these experiences with a new person, but sometimes, like, it doesn't work out. Like, you might say, I'm open for a relationship, but then you meet that person, and after a date, you find out, oh, you're a week, not a year. So... Uh, okay, lady, this is good. Yeah. Because that's okay. You should, we should date. And, and B, I think you know this. I'm going to go race again. Black people will go on a date all of a sudden we're married. What the hell? We need to date. We need to date. We need to taste the grapes before yeah. you buy the bunch. Good. Before okay, you great. buy the bunch. Great. You taste the grapes. I love that. Before you buy the bunch. I love that. Right. B, what do you no, think I, about this? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love what Julie said about being comfortable and happy with herself because there is a quote from a poet named Warsan Shire incredible poet from the UK. She, her poetry was adapted for Beyonce's Lemonade film. And she has a poem and part of it says, my alone feels so good, I'll only have you if you're sweeter than my solitude. And mm. that is kind of like my guiding light in terms of when am I ready? And there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. When you are approaching dating from a position of being lonely, you're lacking and you're looking for somebody to fill that lack, which is not a great foundation. So for me, it's kind of like when my alone is good and I feel like anybody who's going to come into that or that, that person who I'm looking at is going to come into that solitude and they're going to make that feel better, they're going to make me feel richer, then that's when I'm ready. So again, it's a lot of the internal work. I'm just, you know, kind of in the tail end of getting through a divorce. So again, you go through that process, but you have to know yourself. You just said a keyword, you, you've done internal work. And I think therein lies a key. Like obviously therapy isn't necessarily the only way there, but I do think you have to become, and Julie, maybe this is what you're pointing out too, is you've done the work, you know yourself, and you know your own kind of like down, not downfalls, but your own idiosyncrasies. Let's just put it that way. Because right. we're all in annoying sometimes and yeah. we think that we're <laughs> sure. not we're we're kidding ourselves yeah. so you kind of got to be aware of your annoyingness and have to be comfortable maybe with that mm -hmm. in what what you, yeah you no i totally agree <laughs> I, and i but i i also think that th there it is a rare space julie and b that you two are occupying in terms of that comfort level um and that ease with being yourself because to be honest, I do know a lot of people, especially women who are single and have been single for a long time, they do feel lonely while being alone. It is not easy to elevate oneself out of that space where you can look around and you're not yearning to share with somebody else um, in the yeah. peaceful, calm way that you are, Julie. It's more well, of a, I mean, like, you know there's what, a gap. Lady, and I quickly... wish that for them. I wish this, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're operating in purpose, when you really set out to be like, what on earth am I here for? And you get up every day and you do something to, to feed your soul. I'm not saying you're not going to feel horny. You'll feel horny, okay? <laughs> but the truth is it that you will live purposefully. And you be yeah. like, you know what? Come on now. I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm yeah. fabulous. And I think that's great. Yeah. I think your message yeah. and B's message is 
think what we need to hear more because I do think that the world sometimes is set up for twos and not ones, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. um, there and are many ways oh, to take care oh, of horny. Let me just say that. Two.